Don't regret not learning to sing. Do this instead. Hey gang, Ken Tamplin from Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. I wanna share a little story with you guys. Um, when I was about 16 years old, I had started my first real band and the band was named Revival. And I spent about a year putting players together. Now, I wrote all the songs myself. I was the guitar player. I wasn't really the singer, though I dabbled in it a little bit. So I enlisted a couple female, vocal, three female vocalists. Um, I got together the rehearsal space myself. I booked the shows myself, etc. cetera. And uh, as fate would have it, about a year into the band, the band actually came to me, I kid you not, and told me I was not good enough to be in the band and they wanted to relieve me of my duties, have me warm up for the band as an acoustic artist, but they were gonna find another guitar player to replace me in my own band. I feel like Jack Black, you can't get me out of the band, but it really happened. And I thought to myself, well, these people don't share the same vision that I do. Uh, maybe I'm arrogant and egotistical enough to think I don't need them. I'm going to go solo. <laughs> a 16 year old in a band called Revival. But it really happened. And so I said to myself, well, I'm booking the shows. I got the rehearsal. The PA system is mine. And, and, and I think I will take my ball, not go home, but go somewhere else. So the band actually dissolved about a year or so into this event. And I continued to practice and I didn't give up. Now, as fate would have it, about a year and a half later, I joined my first professional band, okay? Now, I could have given up, but I didn't. But I thought it would be interesting to go through some quotes from some people about regret, not living in regret, and some quotes about success. Now, I'm not trying to do just a big feel-good kind of thing. And we just did a video called, um, you know, Singing Should I Quit? And I've got a couple of cool things. I've got that video, I'll put that in the description so you can check that out. And I've got another live stream that I've done about not quitting and, you know, not giving up, etc. But I wanna point out a few things. Now, these authors are everybody from Bruce Lee to Thomas Edison to Winston Churchill. I mean, you name it, Lucille Ball. Um, and I'm not gonna list their names and give them a, a credit to them because I don't wanna take too much time. But I wanna talk about the first one. It says, the only regret that I have are the things which I did not do. So if you're sitting there and you're saying to yourself, gosh, you know, people are gonna make fun of me, you know, I'm just not that good, blah, 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 you'll never know until you try. And chances are, you probably will succeed. I heard that you have to have four failures for every success. I think that's kind of interesting. But anyway, I'd rather regret the things I've done than regret the things I haven't done. Don't live in regret. Just do it. Just start. All you've got to do is start and the rest will, will kind of take care of itself. Next one is I'd rather regret doing something than regret doing nothing. Well, okay, I agree. Um, or it says another way, I'd rather regret doing something than regret not doing something is the actual quote. Failure can be better described as not doing something I should have done. Here's another one. When we try, we achieve. When we don't, we regret. Ooh. When we try, we achieve. It doesn't matter the level, we achieve something. And when we don't, we regret that we didn't try. Next one. The one thing I've learned is to just give everything a shot. You don't want to live in regret. Now, I'm not going to make this all about regret. Hang in there. I'm going to get to some good stuff, some positive stuff in a minute. Um, there is no comparison to weigh the regret of not doing something compared to doing something. I think that's cool. There's no comparison to weigh the regret of not doing something than doing something. Next one, um, I've never regretted trying something and in most cases, I've succeeded. Now, it doesn't mean every single time it'll be, you know, the love Michael Jackson or whatever it is, but not everybody is Michael Jackson. Like think of the minutia of one ten thousandth of one percent on planet Earth that achieved that level of success. But we all have our story. Like I said in my other video about should I quit? We have a very unique story and no one's lived your testimony and the inspiration you could be to others is crazy. Why would you live in regret, especially as we get in our older years for guys like me and look back and say, well, I should have at least tried to do X. No, just do it. Get off your butt and jam. Do it. Um, okay, <laughs> let's next one. I've never, am I excited? Yes, because I've lived through this. I've never regretted trying something and in most cases I've succeeded. Okay, I read that, sorry. Uh, there is no possibility for regret when we've given it our all. There's no possibility for regret when we tried and, and given it our all. Think about that. Success is not final. 
Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Awesome. I think that was Winston Churchill, actually. Success doesn't just happen. You work at it. There are two types of people. Now, check this out. Check this out. Stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> there are two types of people who would tell you you cannot succeed. Those who are afraid to try and those who are afraid you will succeed. Did you hear that? Like all your family members and your friends, they're all talking smack. Let me read it again. There are two types of people who will tell you you cannot succeed. Those who are afraid to try themselves and those who are afraid you will succeed. It'll make them look bad and then they're gonna have to live in their own regret, right? Successful people do what is uh, do what unsuccessful people are, are are not willing to do. Just wash my tongue and I can't do a thing with it. Let me say that again. Successful people do what unsuccessful people are not willing to do. They don't wish it was easier. They work at getting better. Success is walking from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. That's awesome. Success is walking from failure to trying and trying and it doesn't work, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Walking from failure to failure without getting discouraged or letting someone else bring you down or you telling yourself you can't do it, etc. Stop thinking of the possibility of failure as the enemy of success. Listen to this. Stop thinking of the possibility of failure as the enemy of success. It is actually the key to success. It's like, what? Say what? Yes. Failure or failing gives us experience to succeed. So stop thinking of possibility of failure as the enemy of success. It is actually the key to success. Success is walking from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. That was the whole quote. And I wanted to say the other one first so that you guys could actually put it together. Okay. Next one. If you're not willing to risk the usual, you will be condemned to the ordinary and mundane. <laughs> That's terrifying. That's terrifying. I'm going to live and go, I'm just, I'm just a plebeian. I'm just like ordinary. I'm nothing, you know, because I didn't try. I didn't just go that much of effort and give it a try. If you're not willing to risk the usual, you'll have to settle for the ordinary. All progress takes place outside the comfort zone. Ooh. Don't let the fear of losing be greater than the excitement of winning. If you really look closely, most overnight successes took a long time or a lifetime. That was Jack Nicholas, by the way, with a great golf pro. I think that's interesting. The only limit to our success of tomorrow is our doubts of today. And the interesting thing about that is the more you doubt and the more you put it off and procrastinate, you end up in Groundhog Day of failure or not succeeding or living in regret. Stop it. Stop doing that. Get off your ASS and jam. Do something. Don't just sit there and talk about it. Talking is not going to get you there. It, little baby steps, incremental baby steps is going to get you there. By the way, guys, I have a singing course. And if you're interested, you can look it up. I'm not going to even mention it here, but find something that motivates you. Find something that keeps you on task. Don't take off more than you can chew. Do just little baby steps, small incremental things that when you look back, go, hey, damn. You know, you look back in a year, you go, hey, man, I, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not Michael Jackson yet, but I've come a long way and I can see my successes. And no matter what anyone says about me, I'm on my way to doing what I want to do. If you really want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. Straight up. I cannot give you the formula for success, but I can give you the formula for failure. It is to do nothing. Ooh, This applies to so many things in life, not just singing, right? The difference between who you are and who you want to be is what you do. Let me even see if I read that right. The difference between who you are and who you want to be is what you do. Not sitting on your duff, but getting out and doing something. Here's another one. In order to, I'm almost done. In order to succeed, your desire for success should be greater than your fear of failure. Let's say it again. In order to succeed, your desire for success should be greater than your fear 
of failure. There's another one when the pain of staying the same is worse than the pain of change. Think about that. When the pain of just sitting around doing nothing, I wished I could, I woulda, coulda, shoulda, wished, I, you know, when the pain of staying the same is worse urgh, than the pain or fear of change. Get that one. Um, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Do you know who that was? Thomas Edison. And he said it right after he invented electricity. And there was another one that was about penicillin when that same thing happened. And he was so busy doing something else that while he was trying to do this thing over here to find penicillin, a cure for the common cold, etc., he eats a sandwich that's moldy because he was so busy working over here, this moldy sandwich over here, he eats it and it makes him better. And he actually in a roundabout way finds success as a direct result of his being busy, too busy to worry about failure. And he finds success in that. Isn't that crazy? I think that's awesome. Next one, don't be distracted by criticism. Remember, the only taste of success some people ever get is to take a bite out of you. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I gotta say that one again. Don't be distracted by criticism. Remember, the only taste of success some people get is to take a bite out of you. <laughs> I think that is killer. All right, Thomas Edison again. I love how he has a lot of really great quotes. I failed my way to success. Gang, don't live in regret for not singing. Do this instead. Put your, your effort, put some effort in it. Put a little elbow grease into it. Put, put just incrementally, take some baby steps. It could be about playing guitar. It could be about singing. It could be about becoming a doctor. I don't care what it is. In my case, I teach singing, and I know there's a lot of people that are scared because singing is so vulnerable and it really, you wear your heart out on your sleeve. But I'm telling you, the joys of success of that and the accomplishment and the freedom and the expression, freedom of expression to express yourself and your ability to inspire others is unprecedented. Thank you for joining me, Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. Definitely stick around and check out my next video. I'm gonna sing for